Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today is Throwback Thursday. So I'm going to share with you a birthday album that came together over the span of many years. Okay, so this is um, my oldest son's birthday album. I got this album at, believe it or not, a dollar store called The Bucker 2 way back in probably, I don't know, 2008, 2009. And I got three of them, one for each boy. Each of my boys has an album like this that covers um, their birthday parties and some of their at-home birthday celebrations too. So um, I thought this would be a good one to show um, kind of a progression of my scrapbooking, although this one would have ended in 2014 so um, it doesn't go right up to my current um, scrapbooking but you guys see that all the time so I thought this would be a good throwback Thursday for you um, okay so this was one of the first d-ring albums I bought um, like I said I, I was always on a budget and so this because I found this at the dollar store um, I purchased it and I loved how easy it was to take things in and out and um, so I think pretty much I've bought D-Ring ever since then. Can you see that? Okay so this is the first page. Um, all of the boys have an opening page. The other boys have a hospital photo here like a photo of um, their like basically their first day of life. So birthday number zero. I guess but I didn't have a lot of hospital photos of of Brandon because um, it was well it was you know back in the film days so when I went to the hospital I had put a new roll of film in my camera uh, for the birth of my baby and uh, the film did not catch on the rotating gear inside and so I thought I was taking pictures, but I wasn't and didn't notice it until it was almost time to go home from the hospital. So I don't have much from there. And I do have a few that my best friend and labor coach had taken, and they're very precious to me, but they're in a different album. Um, and so this I just decided to use for his. I used this like Sears portrait photo. I had thousands of them. I don't know if you guys ever did that with... Um, when you were kids or when you had youngsters, but they the Sears photo packages and they'd give you like umpteen photos more than you never knew what to do with so Yeah, I made good use of them especially for him because we didn't have many photos uh, so it just says um, It has his full name and then his birth date which I covered up just for privacy But it just says Brandon each year. We will celebrate your life I hope to capture the celebrations of your birthday and record them in this book, never to be forgotten. So this is his first birthday and I would have probably scrapbooked this when I first started this particular album. So probably around 2007-ish. And so you can see I have like sticker embellishments and brads. And I was getting fancy making picture frames with embroidery floss and brads and cutting my pictures down into smaller sizes and enlarging a photo. So I would have done this on like the Kodak picture maker at Walmart where I would scan the picture and then print it off bigger. So that's this one. There's a little bit of patterned paper but still mostly cardstock based. Um, I also tried to include his birthday cards, especially the ones from his grandparents and things I think that he might find um, very important. There's also one in here, I can't remember which one it is now, I think this one, from my best friend who was also my labor coach with Brandon and she passed away when Brandon was about six and um, I've never let him forget how valuable she was to me so I think that will be important to him. He actually named his daughter after her. So here she is. Speak of the devil. <laughs> she's not the devil. She's an angel. Um, and then this one, his second birthday, like I went from having like 
hardly any pictures to like this sort of thing because his grandma came and she took a ton of photos which was awesome and I was so excited to have them and uh, so for this one like again mostly cardstock this blue paper I don't know if you can tell but it's actually a patterned paper kind of maybe was I don't know this, it looks like a shield of some kind but I didn't worry about the pattern exactly just the colors that matched with his shirt that's how I picked colors at this time I just you know went with the focal part of my photo pick, pick, picked my colors from there and used still mostly cardstock using a computer for printing uh, my journal or my title and journaling I only had a couple cards saved from his uh, second and third birthdays but I did include them in there and I just added a photo from each birthday and just a sticker that said two and three and then this is his third birthday and this um, has a long story to tell and then this is I think a bow bunny paper line that I used oh no this is chatterbox it's probably a mixture and like here you can see the sticker letters I used were like I didn't have only white so I just threw in a blue one but tried to balance the colors still you know what I mean and then this sticker this isn't an actual button this sticker has like a button with ribbon printed on it but then up here I have actual ribbon stapled on with one of those fascinators did you, did you guys ever use those they're like a giant 12 inch stapler with like these huge decorative staples um, I still do this I still like to use an eyelet in my tags and put I use twine mostly now but ribbon through the tag hole and I got some stickers on there um, this one using tags and this one's like a no it's not an eyelet it's like a snap or something I don't know something different but lots of like Mrs. Grossman stickers most that is pretty much card stock I think this is a sticker too and then using my computer to be creative with my journaling and then this um, eight and a half by eleven sheet is reflective of when I first started scrapbooking so this birthday party would have been in 1998 I started scrapbooking and buying supplies in 1999 and I would have known that this car paper would have been perfect for his birthday because it was very race car themed the cake was a race car by the way black icing and kids is a really bad idea but I did it <laughs> and then um side note and then so when I came around to actually doing this album I wasn't scrapbooking eight and a half by eleven anymore um so I just used those eight and a half by 11 sheets to mount my cards on because he had some of these race car cards. So I still made use of it. And then this one, you can see I'm using some texture and metals and then vellum for my title and journaling because vellum can be any color you want, right? You just have to adhere it. Um, and then these die cuts would have been the kind that you like put through that big machine at the back of a scrapbooking store when we used to have local scrapbook stores in town and so I would cut out the soccer ball from one of those and then this soccer ball cake was the bane of my existence the ball itself was easy to make and then creating this this pattern onto the cake was a nightmare because the black is not the same shape as the white who knew it drove me crazy anyway and then here is where you start to see this is when I would have scrapbooked in real time so his birthday happened in the year 2000 and I would have scrapbooked this in the year 2000 and it's all um, eight and a half by eleven cardstock there's one little bit of patterned paper here this is not patterned paper it, I actually used markers and made polka dots all over the back of this white cardstock pardon me and so then that would have been my layout is these two eight and a half by 11 actually there's more of these who am I kidding but this I think there was four sheets of this and then um, I when I wanted to go to this um, format 
instead of just putting the eight and a half by 11s in, which is what I would probably do now, I felt like they all needed to be the same size. So I put those layouts on top of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And then on some of them, I added things to the side. So like here I put balloons and a little uh, border sticker, a stamped piece, an extra photo I had kicking around of this birthday party. And I just put some washi here because this is still the RSVP thing, still my husband's current phone number. So I thought maybe he wouldn't like me to put that on the YouTubes. Okay, so here's a good example of way back when we used to cut our pictures into shapes. And I have all these pictures of him opening his presents with his little friends. And they're all cut into balloon shapes. So fun times. This is when my son decided to break my heart and tell me he doesn't like the cakes that I make painstakingly for hours and hours. He wants ice cream cakes. So this was the last cake I ever made for him. Actually, that's not true. I made him other cakes, just not fancy cakes. Um, this is another example of the eight and a half by 11 layouts that would have been made during the year of his birthday. And then I just mounted them on cardstock and used these Creative Memories border strips. This would have been another one of those dies that you cut at the back of the store. Some letter stickers and little Mrs. Grossman stickers. Um, here's another one that was eight and a half by 11 to start with and then got moved in. Do you remember these guys? These were little paper piecing people that you could buy and then you could customize them. So one side would have light skin, one side would have darker skin, and then you had different colors of t-shirts and hair and stuff that you could add on and then you drew on a face. So there's one of those added in there and then the um, border sticker just to fill in some space. Here I put the title on a tag and used some stickers. These stickers, these are little stickers that they, I don't know, it was a photo booth and it printed off a sheet of these itty bitty Pokemon stickers. I don't know, I don't remember where we got those, but I had a ton of them so I just stuck a whole bunch on here and on here. So this is the other part of that same party. Um, interestingly, we had this party at the park and these guys showed up so like these people who what do you call that cosplay and the kids were so excited like look at them they're just like so interested in what was happening over there couldn't have planned it better if i tried um and then this would have been where i started scrapbooking in 12 by 12 in the current times. So this would have been one of my earlier 12 by 12 layouts. I always did double pages back then. So I guess 12 by 24 actually. Here we have brads, we have stamping, we have some, um, this would have been not a punched tag but those little sizzlet um, things or quick cuts maybe those kind of die cut machines my mom had and so I used them quite often if I could and then I, later I had one too so I don't know if it was hers or mine that I used and then this one I was so excited to find this paper there's like glue on it or something I'm gonna have to get out the undo and uh, I was so excited when I found this paper because he loved Monopoly so much and wanted to play all the time. So I was excited to have that. And it was perfect for his birthday party because that's all he wanted to do, play a game of Monopoly. Because we hadn't been playing much because his uh, youngest brother had become a toddler and sitting through a game of Monopoly takes a long time and isn't very toddler friendly. So that's all he wanted and we did. And here's an example of a cake I made him. Just a regular cake with icing and candles. Nothing fancy because he also wanted ice cream cake, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, here's his ice cream cake. This is nine, 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 yep. So here's his ice cream cake with his friend party. Pinata. Um, so then here we have, I just used a piece of patterned paper for my title. My background is patterned paper, which I often do now. Still using the computer printing to tell my story. And then um, 
metal embellishments, you know, a few things here and there. Uh, just cardstock, mostly in patterned paper for the cards. Here we go, we got some paper tearing happening, some large brads, more of those Sizzix Sizzlet die cut letters. I had a few fonts of these. So they were prominent in my scrapbooking for a while, again with the computer journaling. And then more cards. This one I think was a time where my budget was pretty limited and so I was making my own embellishments whenever possible and in this one I decided to try using the, um, what's that thing called, a spirograph of the kids to make some interesting circles. For myself just a little bit of a title here again with the cardstock and computer printing a piece of ribbon Look at that wood green paper fancy and then here's more cards this one we have um, more like more patterned paper on top of cardstock and tags where I'm using a little bit of like ink and stuff um, and then just more cards. This one has some brads and also these are chipboard pieces that I painted with acrylic paint. Um, remember when Making Memories did those acrylic paint? I bought a set of them and I really liked them but they dried out and I had to throw them all away. And I think I have a glue dot stuck to my page. Is that on purpose? I don't know weird okay and then again patterned paper on top of cardstock that was kind of my thing and here I got a little bit fancier so this is all patterned paper on this side and I cut into the pattern paper tucked my photos into the patterned paper fussy cut some patterned paper to put on so not just like rectangles or whatever but getting a little bit more creative with using my patterns this one was, I think, one of those um, close to my heart workshop on the go kits where, or no, this would have been like a level one. So back in the day, uh, close to my heart used to do level one and level two. So level one had kind of the pattern paper layout done for you. So like the stripes, the uh, cream and the green are all printed on the same piece of paper. That's, that's not three different pieces of paper it's all one sheet of paper and then I added the circle paper and the cardstock frames on top these are stickers this is more of my Sizzix Sizzlets die alphabets and this page is the same so the cream green and stripes are all one printed piece of paper and then the circles layered on top and the photo mats are my include like what I included onto the layout and we have some corner photo corner stickers some stripe stickers this one is also close to my heart but it would have been a level two because I cut the paper into the sizes that I want and put it on the cardstock I used a ribbon border these are not scrapbooking embellishments they're things that uh, the guys picked up in the gift shop so this is like a patch and this was on a keychain and so that's what I used for embellishments I also used their actual tickets from the game in the book and these are like acetate pieces so that's something we haven't seen yet um, and I printed my journaling here in my own handwriting which I don't do as often anymore um, here we have one of those uh, page toppers I think they were called and it was like a 6 by 12 uh, sheet that came together and then you sliced it in half and the the title went on either the top or bottom and then the other piece went either the top or bottom I think the title was intended to usually go on the top and uh, we have some oh here I'm using dimensional adhesive to pop up my balloons and some um, this was called scrappers floss from Karen Foster Designs and I loved it. I used the whole thing. I have another thing of it, roll of it, but it's like 
in brown so I don't use it as much but I loved that stuff and here's some balloon brads with the scrappers floss and these pattern papers were from those boxes you know that you used to get back in the day that were like um, 365 days of scrapbooking paper and they were all these like four by six sheets of um, patterned paper but really super hard to use so I did use some of them and toss the rest and here again is that fascinator tool that giant stapler that makes fancy staples here he got a cheesecake so this is not a regular cake it's like uh, um, not baked no bake cheesecake and then candles in it and then yeah so he had two cakes that year because um, he celebrated in Phoenix and then also once with his grandparents and once with just his brothers and then this one you see chipboard letters happening and then I ran out of ends and obviously out of an S and so um, again with the mixed up fonts but trying to balance so that like NS isn't just like added on the end that there's some kind of balance there and then you know making a design to write my journaling in using um, alphabet stickers for my date I actually have used this paper in a recent video because I'm trying to use up some older supplies um, so this is a little bit different from my cardstock with patterned paper on it this has patterned paper background with cardstock mats and then more patterned paper there is cardstock in the background but it's mostly covered up with the patterned paper so a little bit of a change in my style there here again is the cardstock with patterned paper on top and i just covered this up with washi because my kids friends thought it was funny to draw inappropriate things on this cup and so 18 is the year that uh, at the legal drinking age where we live and so this party I didn't actually we were home but we were upstairs we didn't go downstairs but his girlfriend at the time was nice enough to share some of her photos with me so I could put them in a scrapbook and this was his 19th birthday we had a little buffet of Chinese dinner Chinese food and then a cake from the store um, so here we have like more to what I scrapbook like currently like this is probably as close as it's gonna get in this album so here you know uh, we have a lot of patterned paper oh, we have but this is still when I was always doing you know two 12 by 12 side by side double page layouts so um, yeah it has changed but here's getting closer to what it looks like today so you know title um, sticker letters embellishments trying to keep everything close together and not so like separated um, putting things on an angle and then this is his 20th birthday just to end the book off and he we had here we have like again with the cardstock background which I still mostly do but I, mo I more often than not use white cardstock or like uh, an embossed cardstock but here's just plain and then patterned paper to go with it and a few stickers and embellishments and title doesn't say much just his birthday and that's about it so I hope you enjoyed that I hope it helped you to see a little bit of the progression of um, how my scrapbooking's changed over the years and um, the different products that came in and out of fashion and scrapbooking uh, and I think that's it for today so happy throwback Thursday uh, thanks for hanging out with me today I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please click the like button to give me a thumbs up if you would like to see more of my videos it would make my day to have you as a subscriber just click that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when a new video goes up have a great day everyone bye for now